What up guys, your boy Hamza, back at it again with another video. See what I did there with the colors, I have it match my shirt. Anyway, so today we're gonna be making a trap beat. It's been a minute. And this is gonna be the first official cook up with this new studio set up. And uh, if you watched my previous video yesterday on like five tips to improve your workflow as a music producer, I think you should check it out for sure because it'll help you out. And uh, yeah, what I said in that intro yesterday was we're gonna take it slow, take our time making beats, we're gonna have fun doing it. And yeah, let's get into this video. All right, so I got my headphones on. We're about to work. We're gonna go to file, new from template, trap template. If you're not familiar with templates, definitely check out my video from yesterday. My template, it just has the hi-hats and snare pattern. So when I start adding some melodies, I could test it out. Plus, that's how I normally start off with my drums. If you watch my videos, I'm always like, okay guys, my dad had a straight line of eighth no hi-hats, and then once I add all the drum elements, I'm gonna... You get the gist, you've heard it like a million times. Let me go to Omnisphere. I miss Omnisphere, oh, it's been so long. You know what? I'm gonna go to Scalar first and try to get some chords actually. All right, let's go to Scales. I like that right there. You can maybe add some variations on it. Let's see. Let's see this. Okay, I like that right there. Let's go to drag, put that right there. No, don't import the tempo. Let's go here and work on these chords a little bit. Just to give it some, you know, enhancements. Shift option down for this one here. Maybe shift option this one. This one down, move this one down as well. Move this one down. I'm not feeling that last part actually. Repeat that over. Command J to join it. I feel like it needs some variations. I don't want to just keep it like this. That's too basic. Let's get rid of this here. Let's move this here. If I shrink, let's see this here. Copy, actually just option, drag it here, shrink it, let's see. This one down. All right, now that we got that, I feel like it needs maybe more of a human element to it. Let's go to velocity, switch things up a little bit. Move this up here. Okay, we got that right there. Start adding in some notes just to spice it up a little bit. Right there. That's nice. Add some notes in the lower ranges as well, maybe. Just to match the chords. Fix the velocities a little more. Hey, eh, oh, yeah. I think that's good so far. Now, if I just copy and paste this into like a, an Omnisphere and put an instrument, it's gonna have everything playing together. And I kinda wanna separate these up a little bit. It's actually Shift Option, Command D to duplicate that as well. Shift Option down. I'll get rid of these bass notes on this one here and the upper notes. Take everything else but the upper melodies. For this one, we'll take everything else except the bass notes. Let's look for a pad for this one here. Pads and strings, just scroll randomly. Let's go right here, uh, whatever we just clicked on. P, P, G, Triumph Pad. I like it, I'm gonna keep it. Let's change the EQ on it a little bit. Get rid of the regions that's not being used. And you wanna be careful with the EQ, so you don't wanna like take out actual good sounds from it, you know? It's good. All right, let's roll. All right, let's find some keys for this right here. Let's go to Omnisphere again. Let's see what we got. Let's go random again. Old Distant Piano. I 
I like it, but it sounds harsh on the ears for some reason. Yep. Bring some of these up a little bit. Give them more of a balanced sound. Let's see how it sounds with the hi-hats and snare real quick. Not bad. It might need a counter melody, but it sounds good so far. I felt the vibe today. I felt it. I knew today was going to be a good day to make beats. I knew it. You got to be in that state of mind. And today, I just woke up and I was like, today is going to be a good day for making beats, man. And here we go. I might do some force legato on this one here. Shift forward slash. Just to extend it. I am not feeling you. It does need like a driver though. There's no driver. It needs one more thing. When you gotta bring out the keyboard, mm. so you know it's serious business. Let's see what we got here. It might need some adjustments though. Ah, do it. I'll always miss the first note. Leave it as eighth note so it doesn't have like that extended note. Why is it bothering me? Could be the instrument. Could be the instrument actually. I'm really liking it, it's pure in spirit right here. I just need to change the EQ on it. Sounds really harsh. There you go. I'm loving the way it sounds right now, but I feel like it still needs one more element in there. But nothing too crazy. It can't be too much on this beat. Just like a little touch, you know? Let me see if I go to my samples real quick. Oh, I gotta bring this. Favorite effect. Oh my God. My dog. I gotta bring my dog into this. Ooh, listen to this. Ooh. But it still needs more. It still needs a little more. One more thing. The bass line is nice right there. When I added the hi hat and snare, and I felt like it was missing some parts. It's the instrument itself that's weak, actually. Bass is good right there. Put some reverb on the dog. There you go. That's a good dog right there, right? All right now that we got that, we're gonna adjust the hi hat pattern. Add some 16. shorter Got some 16s here as well just so I could match the first one that's what I'm talking about when it comes to the hi-hats I'm gonna fix the velocities on these a little bit just give us a human touch. Let's just randomize these, whatever. Boom, boom, this here. Let's go, boom, boom. Might add in a sample from my hi-hats.
That's more like it. The command D as usual, shift option down, pan all the way to the left, pan all the way to the right for that surround sound feeling. Snare is kind of uh. It's actually sound good together layered. Let's see. Got the kick in there. One take. Kick is trash though. That was horrible. Let's bring in another kick. One more punch in my kick. Need some overdrive though. It needs some perks, especially in the snare area. It just sounds super dry. Let's find a rim real quick to add in there. Just need some rims at the end. There you go. Let me just solo the drums real quick. Change the rim. There you go. Add a reverse crash in there. Reverse crash. A little subtle touch right there. There you go. All right, I think that's the beat done right there, guys. Let me just uh, arrange it real quick. Command A, we're gonna repeat it over. Start deleting and shifting things. All right, guys, come up with a quick arrangement. Got the pads coming in, reverse crash, a bunch of drums, whole lot of things. Let's just play it together, let's just play it together. This beat right here? And if I'm not talking much, I'm sorry. Ooh, feel the vibe. Mm. You get rid of some elements here, you gotta give it a break. I don't have time for phone calls right now. We're with you guys. There you go. We start bringing in some other elements. We start bringing in the elements again. Hey. Uh. Bring in the bass line. You know what? We can maybe do like a pause over here. Spice it up a little bit. And that's the beat all wrapped up, guys. So yeah, guys, new dynamic today. I'm sorry if I'm not talking way too much in my videos. I just kind of want to kick back, make beats, and have you guys just enjoy watching the process. But if there is any questions or anything you want me to go over, you feel like, you know, would help out the channel, just leave it in the comment section below. And let me know what you want to see. And if you did enjoy it, subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell, all that good stuff. I'm also on social media if you want to follow me there. Um, if you have any questions, you actually the best chance of you reaching out to me is through social media because you could just, you know, hit me up in the in the messenger and just let me know what you want and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys like the new dynamic, the new setting, the new beat. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.